You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Dan Ferris, how are you on this Friday? It's all jacked up because it's Friday. It's Friday. (laughs) I'm jacked up. Friday. Yeah, this this weekend we got uh, like a lot of folks doing Valentine stuff because Valentine's Monday. So happy pre Valentine weekend to you, Dan. Yeah, and we'll be talking a little bit about the Ooh. love thing and, okay. and and singles looking for love a, been a little later on here. Nice. Uh, and I've been remiss in this for the for the past few weeks, so I got to mention it. Uh, want to welcome Sandra and the crew at Blown Away Vape and Glass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To, to Sunny Radio. They're good folks. And it's an interesting business, as you may or may not know. My son Luke was actually a graphic designer for a vape company in, in Arizona years ago. Yeah. And so through him, I learned a lot about that business. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, everything they do is totally legal and yeah. legit and taxable, but government has regulations on things you can say and can't say about it. Oh, really? Which is fascinating to yeah. me. Mm-hmm. For instance, you literally are not allowed to say, hey helped a lot of people quit smoking right, you're not allowed cigarettes to, you can't yeah. say that is so. that why i had to bleep everything you just said <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> but me being me and a oh, no. huge fan of the first amendment i literally in my life over the past several years i know four people who have quit smoking through use of and three of those four actually don't vape anymore either so, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank but you. you're not allowed to talk about no. that. For, so. No. Thank you for testing my bleep button. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. Sandra and uh, James and Betty and, and Junior and the gang at uh, Blown Away Vape and Glass. In fact, uh, they're the original in this town, Yeah, actually. So, yeah. You'll find them right there on South Minnesota Avenue. Who's having birthdays? Glad you asked. Yeah. Thomas Edison, who's invented everything. Light bulbs and stuff. He, no, everything. I mean, just look around the studio. Edison whatever you see, he invented it. He invented the phonograph. Burt, yeah, everything. Waffle irons. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, Burt Reynolds. Who didn't love Burt Reynolds? Oh, I love oh, Burt. Oh, yeah. Born this day. Uh, Cheryl Crow is 60. Okay. Nice. Believe it or that just kind of straight. Again, she's one of those people. It's like, well, she's always in her early 40s. Right. <laughs> yeah. Nope, she's 60. And uh, from Friends fame, Jennifer Aniston is 53 today. Wow. I've always liked Jennifer. Really? I have. Really? I think she seems very friendly. Um, maybe she can't. She can't keep a man. <laughs> you and Heidi was doing that the other day about somebody else. What, who Taylor Christy, Swift? No, oh, she was talking about Christy Brinkley. Christy Brinkley. Brinkley. Yeah. yeah, well, she yeah. seems to be going through the men quite quickly. <laughs> there's, just, there's just some people. Wow, Jennifer says two people in this room have both been divorced at least once. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let me make sure I volley that right back to you, just so everybody knows. Holy cow. (laughs) So hurtful. It was 1852. We were just kids. 1852. The very first public toilet for women opens on Bedford Street in London. Nice. Yeah. That's lovely. So did they have men's toilets before that? They just finally had a wedding? Actually, the men's about two weeks previous. Okay. Strange you should ask, and I knew you would, which is why I actually I'm looked I'm glad you up. checked into that. Yeah, but the thing with the uh, women's public toilets, some rascals, some hooligans would creep in later on that very same day and leave all the seats up. Oh. <laughs> That's where it all started. Uh. Yeah. It was 1752, and I did not know this. 1752, this day, the uh, Pennsylvania Hospital. That is the first hospital in the United States. Opens. And guess who opens this thing? Puts it together. William Penn. It was Benjamin Franklin. Oh. Oh. I guessed wrong. All right. I guess there's a little more. I was going to say T. Diddy. Anybody else? <clears throat> you was T. Diddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, it's surrounded by bad brown statues of a guy in a suit. <laughs> Because that's just how the world works. (laughs) And oh gosh, this story, uh, it was a story that just kept on giving because it was really just that strange. This day, 2006, then Vice President Dick Cheney accidentally shoots and wounds his hunting buddy, Attorney Harry Whittington, during a quail hunting trip in Texas. Oops. Yep, we now, of course, refer to these types of situations and incidences as pulling the old Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Yikes. 
that. I know, you know, we all know. We just bounce <laughs> forward here. We are going to do exactly that. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. The Vegas Travel Center is offering three days and two nights accommodations to Vegas. They'll completely waive the package price. Plus, you get tickets to your choice of activities as well as meals. Jump on this now. Obviously, a deal like this isn't going to last. When they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out. Just call 605-210-5220 and they'll get you set up for a great getaway. Call now for this special radio offer. 605-210-5220. That's 605-210-5220. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We are going to brighten your day right now with some positive news. I've got Luke Erlocker joining me. He's with Builders First Source and he's with the Home Builders Association as well. And the Home Builders Association has a thing called the Repair Affair. And Luke, right now is a chance for people to sign up if they know somebody who needs assistance with this kind of stuff, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, right now, we are opening, opening the applications. We hope to uh, help as many people who meet qualifications here in the Sioux Falls area, and uh, we certainly hope everybody out there will take advantage of it. And I see this is things like uh, wheelchair ramps, grab bars, railings, and other things as well. And if if somebody knows, like maybe there's a neighbor up the street or somebody, even a, a family member, that could use some assistance with this, this is the time to sign up, and then they could be, uh, ho- hopefully, get all this stuff done in June. Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we try to help out um, as many people, as many homeowners here in the uh, Sioux Empire as we can. And uh, we really want to help out those uh, individuals who have mobility issues. So, you know, people who, who maybe find themselves uh, with a tougher time getting around the house, we love projects that can make their lives easier. You know, we're talking about uh, your ramps, we're talking about accessibility issues, we're talking about updating some um, features in the house. So if you um, have any of those issues, we, we strongly encourage you to um, fill out that application. A couple ways to do it, you can uh, simply go to the um, Home Builders Association website or you can go to hbacarefoundation.com or if you have any questions, you can simply call the friendly folks at the Home Builders Association here in Sioux Falls, and they will be happy to assist you. That phone number is 605-361-8322. So many great ways to get a hold of us, and uh, like I said, hope to have as many applicants as possible this year. And there's a ton of members of the Home Builders Association that come together and volunteer their time for the repair fair. That actually comes up in June, so we got plenty of time between now and then, but they need to have projects to do. So if you know somebody who needs wheelchair ramp, grab bar railings, those different kinds of things, now is the time to get registered. And again, uh, you can go to the website, hbasueempire.com. That's the the Sioux Empire Home Builders Care Foundation. There's a link right on there that you can get it. And again, I think this is a cool thing. Do you guys need more volunteers for this as well, or do you guys typically have plenty of people helping to do all this stuff? You know, um, every year we we have a lot of uh, great volunteers that come and uh, assist with this. Um, For a lot of... uh, of the more administrative people who are stuck in an office or behind a desk, uh, they really love getting out uh, in early June and swinging a hammer and having some fun and helping out. So we're pretty good on the volunteer front. Like I said, the the HBA of the Sioux Empire has a lot of uh, great individuals, a lot of great members, and, and they all show up in force. So we're pretty good there. The thing we really need is um, people to help. So like I said, if... Um, you know, if you uh, meet those application guidelines and you're a homeowner and you've got some issues with your place, please fill those out because we'd uh, love to give those projects a look and uh, hopefully give you some assistance. Luke, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us about this today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, John. Absolutely. Again, coming up in June, the repair affair. But if you know somebody who has a project to be added to the list, now is the time to download the application for 2022. Again, wheelchair ramps, grab bars, railings, things like that. All of the details can be found at hbasuempire.com. It's Bernie Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner. If you own a gun, you need to check out StopboxUSA.com, the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home and get instant reliance. 
reliable access to that gun. It's an awesome weapon retention product, especially if you have little kids at home or frequent visitors. Get access to your gun in under a second. Stop Box is the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home. Use discount code RADIO to save 10% at StopBoxUSA.com. You need to check out StopBoxUSA.com. And now Stop Dan Finds it is time for stuff Dan finds interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Friday? Besides you, John? <laughs> well, well, I'm glad you asked. It is pretty interesting. You know, Make it fun of me because I forgot how I start this break. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> Funny now, uh, John and Heidi, for those who, who don't know, happily married for, what, 50, 60 years now? Yes, 22. pretty close. Been walking down that path together. 22 years ago today. Happy anniversary, baby. Well, thank you. You guys what did you get me anyway? Anything national else? national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people celebrating the uh, Valentine's uh, Day thing over the course of the weekend. Of course, Valentine's Day officially is on Monday. Yeah, it is Monday. And so I came across a little article from uh, Wallet Hub. Wallet Hub is a company that just digs into all kinds of stuff across the country. It's some of the stuff they should stay out of, by and the way. Comes up with data, and this is about uh, the best states for singles to make. Oh. To make romantic connections. So if you're single and want to mingle, this is where you want to go. Yeah, and they uh, evaluated each state to determine which states are the best and worst for single people. Data they set up ranges everything from uh, to the share of single adults to online dating opportunities, restaurants per capita, movie theaters, uh, data about the state's mobile dating opportunities, median annual household income of singles, and things like that. Nice. South Dakota doesn't do real well. <laughs> but not. Somebody should fix that with, I don't know, a website like Sue. Everybody. We're going to get into that in just a minute. <laughs> you, you've stepped in it hard, my friend. <laughs> the top 10, and actually there are a couple of Midwestern states that are that are pretty good for this kind of activity. The top 10 goes like this at number 10, best place for singles to connect. Number 10 is Virginia. Oh, wow. Followed by Wisconsin. Oh. Oh, and number nine, and that's true. I've done two tours of duty in Wisconsin. I was there in the '80s, <laughs> shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> There's the <clears throat> the ladies drink a lot there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> number eight is New Jersey. Number seven, Massachusetts. Wow. Illinois is at number six. Huh. I would okay. not have thought that. But yeah. There you go. Pennsylvania is at five. Great place for singles to get together. Texas at four. Okay. This one makes sense. Florida is at number three. I see that. Yeah, okay. especially if you're 70 and over. <laughs> number two is New York, and the best state for singles to connect is California. Really? So where did South Dakota land? And I'm glad you asked. South Dakota. Good, Good for asking. Apparently, a little uh, number 38. Who was dead last? Do you have that on the list? Uh, I don't. They did not include that, strangely oh. enough. If I were doing my due diligence, I'm sure I could find it. but I. Eh, it's not a big deal, as long as it ain't us. Yeah, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say Mississippi, because they're dead last in everything. You know, they, they are on the bottom of the list on a lot of things. I wonder why that is. I, I honestly I think it's because WalletHub doesn't like them. That's, that could be. All could these be. other companies, yeah. Let's beg on Mississippi. <laughs> they probably got a speeding <laughs> ticket driving through there, and they're like, ah, they'll be at the bottom of every Actually, list. John, okay, I did find uh, some of the worst. Oh, okay. Worst states for singles include, this is bottom of the heap now, North Dakota, Ooh. Yeah. South Carolina, oh. Alaska, okay. Idaho, oh, wow. and uh, West Virginia. Oh, West Virginia. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Mississippi made the cut. They were not on the bottom. They're not, which is kind of, way to go, Mississippi. Good job. Good on you. Apparently, uh, South Dakota, it says here, uh, does not have a great gender balance among singles. Does that mean there's more men or more women, or does it not say? It just say... Uh, just off balance. Yeah, it's just off balance. And barely any mobile dating opportunities that are, like, localized, yeah. I guess, okay. just, just statewide, and the fewest number of uh, restaurants per capita, which shocks me. Because, well, they're going statewide, but, I mean, Sioux oh, yeah. Falls here, man, they're just... Yeah, we've got way yeah. more, yeah. You can't turn the corner without bumping into exactly. another restaurant. A whole lot going on. Yeah, but if you are a uh, single person looking for love... Human species only, please. Yeah, there's, there's a local Facebook page. That, there is. It's a uh, Facebook group, Dan. Come on. Group page. I don't know all this stuff. Uh, <laughs> really, uh, Sue Empire Singles. Dot. Go ahead and ask me why I started such a site. Dot. We have asked you several times, and you literally haven't given a legitimate answer yet. <laughs> a legitimate I'm, I'm glad answer. You asked, Dan. Thank you for that very well thought out question uh-huh. that you didn't ask. <laughs> No, I started this a couple of years ago. Uh, it might have been a little over a year ago. But I started it because this gorgeous woman sitting in the room with me. Uh, today's our anniversary. We've been married 22 years. 
I am so happy, and I love having my beautiful bride to do fun stuff with. But I'll post Dan things. Dan sees the bliss every day. I but I'm just saying, the studio. I, I, I've posted things, and then I'll have my single friends. I've had several single friends who have said, I wish I had that. I wish I had somebody like Heidi in my life. I wish mm-hmm. I had somebody to spend my life with. And and I said, you know what? We should put together. A timeshare? No. You, <laughs> you get Heidi on Thursdays. No. That's not what I'm talking about. No. Originally, you know what, what it was going to be called? Originally, it was going to be called findmyheidi.com. But, I just spit up. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. Uh, first of all, nobody knows how to spell Heidi. You should see some of the things we get sent here. Uh, but then the other thing is, oh, I'm like, well, I want this for ladies and for men. So uh, anyway, I just said, I'll just set up <laughs> SueEmpireSingles.com instead. Wow, John. So there you go. Wow. And I have made zero dollars, which I'm not trying to. There's no fee. Um, I have had several people complain about other people in the group. I've taken on the role of being an adult daycare provider, and it is a thankless job managing a Facebook group. But I'm doing it anyway because I'm trying to help people find love. Because you're a giver. Because I, I kind of look a little bit like Cupid without the diaper and the bow and arrow. Got the chubby cheeks, though. Oh, gosh. So, yeah. That's why, Dan... Does that answer everything you ever wondered? <laughs> it's it's incredible. It's it really is. Totally incredible. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Are we done here? Thanks for that, John. <laughs> I was done about seven minutes ago. Okay. So. Hey, hey, thanks for coming in, Dan. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the abuse. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you today by SueEmpireSingles.com. At BetterCreditCards.com, our mission is to help you get a better credit card. Why pay more interest than you need to? We have cards with amazing points and perks. If you're not a point person and just want the lowest interest rate, you can find those too at BetterCreditCards.com. You can also find credit cards designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Friday, February 11th, 2022. The rebound in equities reversed course on Thursday following some hotter-than-expected inflation data. The CPI reading for January shows prices advanced 0.6% for the month on a headline and core basis, or 0.2% hotter than expected on both counts. The month-to-month gains were accompanied by acceleration on a year-over-year basis as well, with core CPI up 6% from last year. This marks the 10th month for hot and rising inflation and puts increased pressure on the FOMC to act and act quickly. Fed President came out with comments in the wake of the data saying he favored 100 basis points of interest rate increases by June, including a 50 basis point increase to start. The SPX fell on the news, confirming resistance at the short-term moving average and the most recent peak in prices, putting the market in danger of a retest of the recent lows. If the market is not able to hold these lows, much deeper correction, perhaps as much as 10% or more, could come within weeks. You can get the inside track at marketbeatminute.com.